Hey YouTubers, it's Tony with Mayberry Mini Trucks. Today is Tuesday, July 25th, 2023. And this is a video for Kevin in, I think he said he, he lives in Florida, but the villages, um, huge uh, community down there or near the villages, but Kevin in Florida. So um, Kevin bought a really nice truck. It's um, a 1994 Suzuki Carry. <clears throat> it is a four wheel drive, five speed with a extra low first gear. It has 6,356 miles, very uncanny. And so uh, let's check this thing out. You know, that's really interesting. It has a 52 written there, and I have no idea why anybody would write a 52 there. But it does have 52. And this is the coveted bug eye look. People just ask for that um, and say, I want the bug eye look. And I think I see blue bulbs in there. That is interesting. Huh. So, yeah, that's kind of that bluish light. That's a... I think that's an LED. Don't hold me to that. So, let's check this thing out. Man, is that pretty. Okay. Now, this is wet. So, um, but the front of the truck does not have a single ding in it. And this is water right there. That's not like the clear coat peeled it. If I do that, you'll see that the water is uh, evaporating. Now, coming down this side, the roof is very straight. Coming down the door pillar, um, it looks beautiful. And also around this gasket, I really didn't show that. It looks very nice. And then coming down the door, again, we've got some water right there. But I can tell you that there is not a single shopping cart ding anywhere <clears throat> on the door. Now, below the door, it does have one shopping cart ding right there. This wheel is pretty remarkable. It looks very nice. The paint on the wheel is exceptional. Here's a picture or a shot underneath the wheel housing. Very, very tidy in there. Looking good. Again, the bedside is wet, but all this has is a scratch there, a little touch up paint there, and a scratch there. Interesting, they added some side marker lights there. Oh, you know what's funny? Whenever I see somebody who painted the inside of their drums, you can, you, you know they're just that kind of owner. <clears throat> this owner also, I'm gonna take a minute here. He or she taped off right there and painted from there down very carefully giving it that nice look of the continuation of the frame although this is the same piece of metal they just decided to paint it from there down and it, it looks really good i kind of like that this is uh, a little wet that's what that is that's water on there but it looks really clean there's the transmission i mean it's beautiful under there there's the bottom of the bed. <clears throat> Everything looking good. And there's the differential. Now, let's look at the tailgate. The tailgate doesn't have a single shopping cart. 
Now for the interior of the bed and the rear of the cab. <clears throat> the rear of the cab looks good. The bed looks very nice. That's just dirt right there. That's dirt. Absolutely remarkable. Very, very intact. You have just the tiniest bit of surface rust right there. But man, oh man, what a good looking bed. Inside and outside. Okay, now let's look at the side panel. The side panel, I don't know if this is water. I'll try to dry it if it is. Yep. Um, so I think that was water. Yeah, it was. So I'm trying to dry that. Yeah, that, that was water. So it, it's a little tough to tell. Um, we've got some scratches here. A couple scratches there. Again, you've got your side marker light. Good looking wheel. Good tires. Underneath, inside the wheel well. Bottom of the bed. Bottom of the bed. I may have already shown that. There's the roof. Coming down the post. I think we have a scratch. Yeah, we got a scratch there. Just paint scratch. You can tell somebody used the passenger door. And uh, again, this wheel looks really good. It's got that blue factory paint dot, which is a sign of a low use vehicle. And that is typically rusted, that center cap. It is not rusted at all. So whoever had this took really good care of it. We have a ding here, very slight, and a ding here. Opening the door, wow. <laughs> Man, is that pretty. Look how nice. Just look how nice that is. Underneath the floor mat, I mean, you couldn't ask for anything prettier. Look how nice that is. The seats are remarkable. Let's see what's in here. Toolkit. Power box. I don't know what that is. That does come with the truck, but I don't know what it is. Huh. Interesting. All right, now we're gonna take our last truck. Man, is that pretty. Our last truck for a drive. Man, oh man, just remarkable. I'm gonna roll this up. So we don't get a bunch of uh, wind noise. Okay, I'm gonna put it in two wheel drive. So right now we're in four wheel drive. You can see that it says four wheel drive. I'm gonna push this down and now that shuts off. But this is still illuminated, which is why it's a button. So you push it to turn off uh, or undo the front hubs. Yeah, whoever had this truck really, really did like his truck a lot. You can tell they just absolutely babied it. Hardly drove it at all. 10,000 kilometers. That is crazy, crazy, crazy. This is a, a four-speed. I said it's a five-speed. It's a four-speed. <clears throat> I may have said it was a five-speed. It's a four-speed with a two-speed transfer case, which is nice. 
So I'm going to show you what that does. But first, we're going to go down this hill and we're going to see how fast the four speed will go. I usually like to get the four speed up around 50 miles per hour. The four speed um, will easily, yeah, that's, see this thing really has a lot of horsepower. Now I'm going to give it some gas. And that's 90 kilometers per hour, which is 55. Really, I shouldn't be going that fast. <clears throat> that's 50 miles an hour right there. So yeah, this thing's got tons of power. And um, I'm going to turn around and we're going to go back up the hill and we're going to put it to the test. Man, this thing just drives like a, a new vehicle. It's really pretty remarkable. That's what you get when you have a truck with 6,000 miles. I mean, it just sprints up this hill. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had another truck that quite handled this hill like this. Um, so now I'm going to slow down, way down to 30, actually 20, 20, look at that, 25 kilometers, 24 kilometers per hour. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. So now we were going 24 mile, kilometers per hour, which is actually, um, oh, that's like 12 plus, um, 12 plus, uh, oh, I don't know, 17 or 16. Look at that. All the way up to 70, 75 kilometers per hour. This thing is an Olympian. This thing has incredible power. Probably, I'm going to say it is quite likely one of the trucks with the best power I've ever had. And I wouldn't say that if I didn't mean it. So this thing got up to 70 or 75. You guys have it on video. I'm kind of a glance, but um, I know it was up there. I could feel it. And so this has incredible compression and horsepower. And it gets right on up there. Look at the nibs on the brake pedals. I mean, just look how beautiful those are there. That's how you can tell the thing has no miles. I mean, look at that. That's what you look for right there. So um, we do have um, a website. It's MayberryMiniTrucks.com. You can also email us at sales at MayberryMiniTrucks.com. And you can call us at 336-777-9957. And um, if you would, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We uh, got the law passed making the street legal. So you'll get a clear title. We changed the oil with full synthetic oil, new air filter, new oil filter. And if anything's wrong with it, like if it doesn't run properly when it reaches normal operating temperature, we fix it. If uh, the heat doesn't work, we fix it. I'm sure down there in Florida, you'll be really happy to hear that. Uh, and if um, if, uh, it, if it just doesn't run properly, yeah, we get that dialed in. And the four-wheel drive, we make sure that works if that doesn't work. About 30% of the time, something is wrong with it. I don't think this truck had anything wrong with it. Um, and I uh, deliver. So I can bring this to you in Florida. We charge $2 per mile one way. And uh, if you would, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, I appreciate uh, it, if you can subscribe, it helps our search analytics. And um, I appreciate more than anything you watching this video. Thank you.